This video was made possible by Tab for a Cause. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you are a legal eagle. That means you want to know how the laws that govern our everyday lives actually work. You know that the world is complicated and you're not willing to settle for the easy answers that pundits love to provide. You believe that understanding the law is crucial to being an informed citizen, and you are not willing to turn away even when you get answers that you don't like. You're here to think like a lawyer. So, my fellow legal eagles, in 2019, I say to you, Kaka! And if you're looking for more killer legal analysis, I thought it might be helpful to make a list of the five best attorneys to follow in 2019. Fair warning, this list is going to be pretty politics heavy because I think that those are some of the most important legal issues of the day. Maybe that will change in 2020, but that's where we are now. So let's start out with an honorable mention who is not actually a lawyer, but whose legal analysis is so good that I almost included him on this list. And that's Ben Wittes of the Lawfare blog. He's not a lawyer, he's a little bit on the conservative side, but in my view, nobody knows more about national security law on the internet today. And as Mr. Wittes likes to point out, democratic norms are being broken all over the place in this current world that we live in. But it's bringing people together from all over the political spectrum. I share Mr. Wittes' request that when this is all over, everyone remember the shared democratic principles that brought us together in these trying times. So definitely check out Ben Wittes and the entire Lawfare blog and podcast community. They are great. <laughs> So that brings us to fifth place for the top lawyers to follow in 2019. And that goes to Leonard French. Moving away from politics for the moment, as your second favorite copyright attorney, I can highly recommend your first favorite copyright attorney, Leonard French. Leonard French is a copyright attorney and YouTuber known for wearing funny hats while he gives great legal analysis. He tends to live stream before he goes to work so you can catch him early in the mornings or late at night. He often goes straight into the legal briefs of famous copyright cases uh, or other legal cases of the day. And it's great because you rarely get a chance to see the actual language and paperwork that gets filed in these things and he provides great analysis. His YouTube channel, The Lawful Masses with Leonard French is great for copyright news of the day, especially for video game related news. It's a little wonky, but that's how we like it here. So that takes us to fourth place, and that goes to Seth Abramson. He is a former state and federal public defender. There's going to be a lot of assistant U.S. attorneys and district attorneys on this list, so it's nice to get the perspective of a public defender. Currently, Seth Abramson focuses on the Trump administration and all of the legal issues that the administration is facing. He gets a lot of flack for not doing original reporting and for being extremely long-winded, like Twitter threads that are hundreds of posts long, and fair enough. But for my money, no one is examining the publicly available evidence in more detail than Seth Abramson. Note, however, that he tends to be extremely partisan, so I would take all of his analysis with a grain of salt, maybe dial it back 25 or 30 percent. But still, when news cycles don't even last 24 hours, we need someone to be able to cull through the deluge of news that we're getting every day and look at things from a lawyer's perspective. And a lot of the analysis that Seth Abramson is doing is really top notch. All right, so that takes us to third place, and that goes to two lawyers, Renato Mariotti and Asha Rangappa, who are often hosts of the On Topic podcast. I mentioned both because while the podcast is Renato Mariotti's, he often has Asha Rangappa on, and frankly, the podcast is never better than when she provides her analysis as well. Both are former assistant U.S. attorneys, which essentially is like a district attorney, but for the federal government. Renato worked on the civil side, while Asha worked on the counterintelligence side, so their analysis together is especially invaluable. You can also find both of them on Twitter, but they're also not afraid to do an emergency podcast to stay on top of this news cycle that is burying people in new things every single day. So definitely check out the On Topic podcast. So that takes us to second place, and that easily goes to Preet Bahara, who is the host of the Stay Tuned podcast and tweets at Preet Bahara. Preet Bahara was in charge of the Southern District of New York, which is often considered one of the most prestigious federal district courts. Not only does the Southern District of New York tend to handle a lot of high profile terrorism related cases because of the fact that New York City is in the Southern District of New York, they also tend to handle almost all of the very high profile financial crimes by virtue of Wall Street being in the Southern District. 
Note that he was a Democratic appointee who was personally fired by the president. So you'll probably need to take his analysis with a grain of salt. But I think he is one of the best interviewers on the planet right now. You cannot miss his podcast. So that takes us to number one. And that goes to Ken White, who tweets at Popat and is in charge of all the president's lawyers and the First Amendment podcast, Make No Law. Ken White is a former assistant U.S. attorney turned defense attorney who's also done a fair amount of First Amendment law. He also has a very skeptical view of government and prosecutorial power, which I find makes his analysis both accurate and hilarious. It's hard to describe just how good Ken White's Twitter account is. It is, I think, by far the best thing on Twitter right now. So if you're not following at Pope Hat on Twitter, stop everything that you're doing and subscribe now. Sometimes it's hard to follow him because his handle is always some variation of hat. So at the time of this video, it's hamburger hat, which is, relates to a president's tweet. Um, in the past, it's been Kofefe hat, very legal and very cool hat. His podcast, All the President's Lawyers, in addition to having the greatest name for a podcast, uh, is fantastic. It's hosted by journalist Josh Barrow, who does a great job uh, playing the straight man to Ken White's legal analysis and breaking things down from a layman's perspective. When I do a podcast, I'm going to try and make it half as good as All the President's Lawyers. Ken White is known for taking a very dim view of the RICO statutes. Please tell him to make a It's Not RICO t-shirt because It's Not RICO it's never Rico, but maybe this time. Kaka! So go and check out those lawyers, and while you're browsing the net, you can raise money for charity just by opening new tabs, which you were going to do anyway. Tab for a Cause is a Google Chrome extension that allows you to pick a charity of your choice, and then every time you open up a new tab, instead of it being blank, it displays a couple of ads, and the money that you generate is donated to your charity. There is no charge to you, and it does some good for the world. Tab for a Cause users have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for charity. It is the easiest possible way to donate to charity. So just click on the link in the description and download the extension. And do some good by doing what you were going to do anyway. So, did I get that right? Are there other lawyers that you follow that you think I should also follow in 2019? Let me know. And until next time, I'll see you in court.